What's up guys, it's Nick here at Fantasy Forge Miniatures and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this. Painting your build is one of the most exciting parts of the process. It's really what makes it stop looking like styrofoam and makes it look like stone, stucco, and wood. I'm really excited to paint this thing and make it come to life. Let's get crafting. So first we're going to want to lay down some wax paper just so that we don't get paint all over our uh, crafting mat. Uh, and then we're going to take this brush. It's just got plastic tips so it's not adding any texture, but we're just going to kind of scrape down the outside of our build. Uh, to get all those, you know, hot loose strings or loose pieces, uh, make sure they come off. Then we're going to take some Mod Podge mat and mix it with some black paint, uh, shake it up, and then we're going to be coating our whole thing with this. So we're just going to grab a nice uh, wide brush um, and we're just going to start laying on that paint. Now, when you're doing this, you can be pretty liberal with the amount of Mod Podge you're putting on there, but you're going to want to make sure that you, uh, you know, uh, wipe off or brush off any excess uh, Mod Podge because we don't want to lose uh, that texture. So lay it on thick, get it into all the, the cracks, uh, and then make sure to wipe off the excess. So this is really going to strengthen our build. Um, it's going to make it really durable and uh, and make it last. So you're going to want to make sure you get a nice good coating on this and the black is just a nice backdrop for um, all of the other painting that we're going to do. So if you miss a spot, the black paint, it'll just kind of uh, just kind of fade into the background. So we're going to start with the bottom layer first and we're just going to grab some uh, of our full car paints here and it's going to be parchment is what we're going to start off. So we're going to start painting the stucco uh, with this parchment. So this first coat you can be really uh, you know like liberal and don't worry about uh, getting it onto different areas you know um, this first coat doesn't have to be perfect at all and you know we kind of refine as we go so um, we can we can clean up uh, you know any um, you know, over, over painted spots uh, later on uh, and it actually kind of adds to the whole um, you know, continuity between the whole build if some spills over in the areas. So we're going to want to do the same thing for the gables uh, and we're just kind of working into those cracks and, and those spots and uh, again, not worrying about, uh, you know, accidentally painting the wood or the stone areas. So I'm just doing a quick second coat here because, you know, the black uh, paint uh, kind of shows through the lighter color. So now I'm taking a pewter gray from Apple Barrel and I'm just taking some licorice paint from Folk Art and uh, made kind of a dark gray and we're just gonna coat all of the stone areas uh, of our build. So the chimney, uh, the inside, um, uh, the fireplace. And now we're just gonna take some burnt sienna and we're gonna start painting uh, all of the wood uh, in the exact same way we've been doing. So we're just laying all these base colors right in and uh, not worrying too much about, uh, you know, kind of overpainting areas um, onto each other. It's no problem. We're going to clean it up later. Uh, so in this case, you know, you want to kind of catch all of the edges of the wood to, uh, you know, really make sure that uh, each piece is covered. And here we're just making sure we cover all the inside. And again, if you're not doing the interior, you don't have to worry about uh, any of that. So we're just doing the exact same thing to the roof uh, and to the gables, just making sure all of our beams are nice and brown as kind of our base coat. And we're gonna be adding different colors in to really add that effect. Now this is uh, part of the roof. Uh, we, I put this in there, you know, um, I textured the roof and put the tiles on. You're probably wondering why I was doing that, but uh, we had, you know, areas exposed. So we just wanna cover those in brown and it adds a really uh, great character to the build when you have that come through. So now I'm going to take some uh, raw sienna and uh, this is just kind of a warmer, uh, warmer orangey brown and I'm just going to nicely dust over our entire um, uh, wood sections and even a little bit on the stucco. I like to get right in the corners and just kind of have that, uh, you know, bit of the 
yellowing effect of the stucco. So I'm just kind of dusting over the whole thing. And again, if this gets on, you know, the wood or sorry, the stone um, and also the wood, all of it, you know, it's it's OK. It kind of, you know, keeps that uh, continuity between the entire build. Uh, so now I'm going to take some light gray uh, and we're just going to do some dry brushing here. So you can see I'm working off a bunch of the paint there and I'm just lightly coating uh, all the stone areas and you can see all this gray texture that we've been working so hard to put in is really coming out to shine now i'm swiping down as if the light you know uh, is coming from above to get that uh, kind of highlighted effect um, from where the sun would be coming down and catching the edges of the stone and you can just see uh, all that texture just really come to life and uh, looks like a light source you know so now we're just going to take um, what is this, coffee latte and we're going to do a very similar thing. It's a little bit lighter. We're just adding that variant uh, to the wood and, you know, spilling over onto our uh, stucco just to add um, a lot of dimension with our our color. So I just kind of lightly brush on this again. If this goes, uh, you know, over onto the stone, the stucco, that's great. Um, it kind of uh, adds that kind of gritty real effect to it. So um, the more you add to these and the coloring, uh, the better. So now we're going to take um, a little bit of wicker white there. So it's a little bit of a lighter white. We're really dry brushing it off. And now we're going over um, almost all of the areas with this really kind of last little bit of a highlight. This is really going to be um, just uh, very light, just catching uh, the high points, um, you know, so, uh, you know, on the chimneys on the outside, we're catching those uh, edges and right on the tops of the beams, um, we're just nicely dusting in with that brighter white. Now I'm doing a little bit of patchwork on here. So, you know, if you uh, got too much of the orange or you got like some of the wood that came over too strong, I'm just kind of going over it here just to lightly patch it up. Now for the roof, uh, we're just got this kind of burgundy color that we're mixing with a bit of our, uh, our brown. And uh, now we're just coating um, all the roof tiles. And you want to make sure that you don't, uh, you know, cover up those wood areas if you did make those wood exposed areas. Uh, so we're just getting a nice base coat of red for our tiles. And you really want to work it in uh, underneath all the tiles and all these painting areas because, uh, you know, the less, uh, the less tire from showing, the better. So now we're just doing a bit of uh, some finer details here. We're going over and painting some metallic, uh, you know, brackets for our doors uh, and putting a little bit on the handle and we're doing the same uh, for the interior door there. Now I'm going into those areas where we uh, kind of made that great stone texture or kind of brick texture underneath the stucco where it's fallen away. And we're just coating that with the same uh, kind of burgundy color as the roof. And you can just go ahead and do that to all the areas where you put that, uh, you know, kind of exposed brick under the stucco. So now I just mixed a little bit of the white with uh, our roof color and I'm just kind of uh, brushing uh, lightly to catch some highlights on the tiles here. Um, so again, adding that variance. So I like to think the light catches right on the edge of the tile so you can kind of scrape up. Now here I got a wash. It's now this is a dollar store spray bottle uh, and I've mixed together kind of uh, a homemade wash with uh, ink and flow aid. Um, I'll do a different video on showing you how I do that. But I just take that spritzer bottle and I just start coating the entire thing. I just kind of drench it. Now this is weathering and this is going to add like a lot of uh, character. It's really going to make the textures pop out because what's happening here is uh, the ink is flowing right into the cracks with the help of the flow aid and then it's going to dry in there and it's really going to push the uh you know the contrast between the highlights uh and the recesses really well so here i'm really coating the roof to catch any areas um, that i wasn't able to get with the paint that might be a little bit white from the styrofoam and having it kind of sink in there and then i'm just grabbing a paper towel to just slightly wipe off areas that i might want to have a little bit more highlighted it's like some of the you know the stucco walls got uh, a lot um, but we want it in the cracks and I actually find that this great, gives like a really great effect um, for kind of, you know, your gritty, gritty stucco wall. Uh, so now here, um, after it's dried, 
Uh, I'm just going over the whole thing with just a really uh, light white highlight. This is just to recapture some of those highlights that might have got drowned by the wash a little bit. Uh, and this is just to put that final uh, final effect of, you know, light and uh, really make that texture pop. So now we're just going to do the exact same thing on those roof pieces. And uh, I like to think that the light on the top is really what catches it. And you can see there I'm just highlighting the very edges of uh, the wood um, just to really kind of like drive that character and our texture out. So here I'm just lightly going over everything. Um, you know, you can, you know, you can spot highlight a little bit uh, just to, you know, add that extra character. Now here again, our, uh, our roof uh, got a little muted from our wash and I'm just going over again with some uh, highlights and a little bit of that red. And there we have it guys, our build is complete. And that's it guys, we've completed our build and I'm so happy with the outcome. If you guys experiment with different colors and techniques, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'm always looking for new ways to make great builds. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to stay up to date with all my videos. Hit the bell notification if you want to stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, keep on crafting.